Hello, welcome to this video about the anomalies that I've heard in Abba's song, Honey Honey. Uh, to try and keep things simple, I'm just using the uh, Tretov More Abba Gold 93 CD um, with a, co a comparison to the 1974 yellow labelled uh, Epic Vinyl Edition. Uh, the stereo positions are inverted on the CD, um, although if you listen to some of Astley's remasters, you'll probably find that he used the original stereo positions. Uh, I have a feeling that the stereo positions got inverted uh, on one of the um, compilations that were issued during Abba's career, probably the uh, 1976 Greatest Hits compilation, although uh, I haven't checked it, so I don't know. So here we go with the anomalies then. Okay, at seven seconds, um, there's an edit to uh, the verse uh, from the introduction. Now, if you're listening out of phase, you'll hear the levels drop. And this is because in phase, we're getting a shift uh, to centre stage, a very prominent shift, really. So that's how you can tell that there's an edit there. Um, right, at 22 seconds plus and 49 seconds plus, there's a very strange sound, only out of phase, where it sounds like there's some strange honking going on. Um, it sounds like someone's snoring, actually. Now, I haven't got a clue how this translates in phase. I have tried to work it out, really don't know. Um, I'm going to guess and say that at some point or other there might have been um, some tenor sax or brass um, that was once part of this mix but maybe they tried to erase it and occasionally uh, when things were erased um, you don't always get a complete erase um, if you listen to uh, I think it's Can't Buy Me Love by the Beatles uh, the guitar solo there uh, there's um, uh, a, a sort of faint trace of another guitar solo going on in the background where they didn't manage to completely erase it. Um, so it could be something like that, but I don't know. Right, out of phase at 45 seconds, you can hear um, an edit to another take. It's quite subtle. Um, also in phase, very subtly, the bass takes on a, a slightly more muffled quality. Um, listen really carefully with a good set of headphones and you'll, and you'll hear it. It's also very slightly audibly audible on the vinyl, although the vinyl has a slightly duller EQ anyway. Um, it's not quite, so, um, not quite so prominent there. Right, uh, there are two edits, one minute and one minute three seconds. Uh, both are audible in oops. Um, at one minute, uh, the main edit happens and there's a slight skip in the backing track. Um, listening in phase, you'll hear a very sudden um, sort of where, where the, the song is changing to a new key. It all sort of gets very abrupt there. Um, and uh, one minute, three seconds, this is quite interesting because uh, the only... Uh, telltale sign that there's an edit out of phase is that you can hear some tom-toms. Now normally you would say well what's wrong with hearing tom-toms but the drum kit is more or less slap bang centre uh, listening normally um, and you wouldn't expect then to hear any of that centre stage at all when you're listening out of phase and what's, what's actually happened is that they've uh, done like an extra drum fill and they do it quite a few times during the song as well uh, on more Abba Gold you can hear them on the right um, and those are just covering up these joins right at three other points then we've got some of these uh, drum overdubs one minute 30 seconds one minute 59 seconds and two minutes 23 plus there's quite a uh, an extended passage here where you've got those drums. Hear them on the right hand side. They they almost sound um, a bit timpani-ish. Um, probably there's quite a lot of reverb on them. 
and they sound very distant. Right, now 134 and 141, uh, also in the same points in the next verse, um, not an anomaly at all, but just some beautiful string glissandi going on here. Uh, I hadn't really noticed them that much before, at least hadn't really paid attention to them. But listening out of phase, you'll hear these lovely slides going upwards. Um, really, really nice. So listen out for those. They're on the right on more Abergold, on the left on the vinyl or other stereo versions. At 2 minutes 14 seconds, we've got quite um, an over-enthusiastic treble guitar twang, I think. I think it's a guitar twang. Um, and uh, what happens, very, very prominently out of phase, you hear this sort of treble zing going on at the same time. And it's audible on the left-hand side, not quite as obviously um, in phase. At 2 minutes 40 seconds, there's quite a strange anomaly. Um, they've added on a little bit of extra song so that they've got enough room to fade it out. And the, um, the take that they've uh, taken it from sounds out of phase, very much brighter than the rest of it. Very tinny, in fact. In phase, it sounds really, really dull and you can hear a very obvious drop in the treble levels when, um, when you're listening normally. Um, it might just be that they faded it out very suddenly there to try and uh, cover up the fact that this was a different take and so it would automatically sound a little bit duller just because of the sudden fade out, but don't know really. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for watching some of my other videos. Hopefully you'll enjoy exploring those. Not just the ABBA ones, but I've put up some um, other uh, stuff that I'm interested in, uh, including um, a nice uh, song called Laughter and Forgetting by another one of my very favourite artists, David Sylvian. Okay, bye.